What's up, good people? Another one from the Recap 100 channel. And by the title, I guess you already know. Would you pay a local artist for a feature? When I say local artist, I don't mean buzzing across the across the whole state or even across the, the region that you live in. When I say local, I mean barely known within the metropolitan area that you live in. So, let's get into it. First and foremost, I would like to apologize for the inconsistency of the channel. If you do like the content that I create on this channel, feel free to subscribe and all the other things that YouTubers ask you to do. Now this topic is not an original topic, it actually stems from a post. On June 24, 2020, Louisiana rapper Big Menace took to Facebook, I would never ever pay a local ninja for a feature. Never ever ever. The post got a lot of local artists from the area of Lafayette, Louisiana to chime in. Some saying you should pay artists for features. And some saying it's not worth paying local artists for features. The interesting thing about this debate is that it can go either way. Both sides make really good points. And here's why I say that. Why paying local artists for features is okay? Local artists already invest their money into so many other things that they don't see a profit on. Most beats in the area cost from $100 to $400. Studio time costs between $40 an hour to $60 an hour. A music video that'll cost somewhere around $250. And even to distribute to digital platforms costs $10. Altogether, that's between $400 and $730 for only one song that a local artist most likely won't see their money back on. Not to mention, a lot of rappers already throw away money on Instagram models to twerk to their songs, and some even paying for video views on YouTube. Two things that does absolutely nothing for their music career except make them look desperate for the numbers. I do understand it's business, and that's the sacrifice when you're investing into yourself, but working with other local artists can also be considered business, which is why it should be okay to pay a local artist for a feature. Now, if you're a local artist who feel like you should be paid as a feature, I do understand. You're a talented rapper or singer. But if we're being completely honest, no one is paying for the talent. They're paying for the name. Currently, no one in the Lafayette area has a name that'll bring any extra attention to the song. It's like when you go into Foot Locker store, purchase a pair of shoes for $130. When Walmart has a pair of shoes with the exact same designs for only $30, why did you buy the pair of shoes for $130 from Foot Locker instead of saving $100 and going to Walmart? Why? Because Foot Locker version had a Jumpman on it, meaning you bought it for the name. Here's another example. If there's a major concert in your hometown, featuring the baby, Megan Thee Stallion, and Roddy Rich, let's say the promoter contacts you and asks you if you want to open up for these artists. Are you going to ask, how much do I get paid? Let's be honest, artists like the baby, Megan Thee Stallion and Roddy Rich are all at least 10 grand a show or more. So as a promoter or promotion team, you know they're taking care of that fee. They're taking care of the cost of the venue, the deposit, the DJ, the security, etc. Then I'm more than sure they can afford to pay you, but they already know one thing. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. The promoter will most likely say, It'll be good exposure for you, or might even charge you a performance slot fee. They kind of see it as them doing you a favor because you're a local artist and unheard of. Some would argue that that last comparison is unfair due to me using big names, but basically all I'm saying is that local artists as a feature don't really bring any extra sales, streams, or views to any kind of, or any kind of attention to the song. So, so to pay the local artist for a feature would just have to be out of respect for the artist or that you really, really enjoy their talent, the way they rap, the way they sing, or whatever they, or whatever you feel they can bring to the song. I would like to go on record by saying this video is not to discredit or to offend anyone. I'm not saying that local artists aren't worth anything, but in most cases, an artist doesn't feel like it's gonna do them any good to pay another local artist for a feature. Now, if someone is willing to pay you for a feature, even though you're local, I can't tell you how or what to charge them, but I'd say be fair with the price that someone obviously thinks highly of you or sees some real value in you. It'd be a lot easier for two or more artists to just do a project together and they both can eat off each other's hustle. It seems like more of a win-win situation. But tell me what you all think in the comment section. Let's hear your opinion. Yeah. If the music goes into mute or anything like that, that's just for copyright purposes. You know, YouTube does demonetize and for the most part, y'all know how it works. <laughs> 
All right. Leave your comments in the comment section. Uh, I want to hear y'all opinion. Stay blessed. Peace.